good evening everybody. Um, first of all, thank you very much for being here. That's to you, cheers, salute, whatever. Um, just a real quick little video here from me just to tell you what it's all about and what you can expect from rocking the ball. Um, I'm sure you've already guessed it's a an event, a rock event. It's not a festival, there won't be any camping, and it's not a standard gig either. Any of you guys who remember Milton Keynes Bowl and things like the Metallica Big Day Out event, or maybe the ACDC um, thing, Megadeth were there, and a few others, can't remember. Uh, kind of like that. Okay, that's what we're looking at, but smaller. Um, not that the Don Valley Bowl is small, um, the Arctic Monkeys have played there, and I'm sure most of us think, so, well, who cares, but it's big, okay, so we can fit a lot of people in, a lot of vendors, a lot of things, so it has the potential to be a good fun party. So, why now, why then, why that, where there, all these little questions. Um, Sheffield has always been part of the rock history in one way or another um, some excellent bands from Sheffield and its surrounding area we don't have to mention Def Leppard it comes as standard that they're the one um, no matter what we think about them in current times and recent years they were a force to be reckoned with and the last time an open air one day event happened, it was at the Don Valley Stadium where Def Leppard absolutely ripped it apart, along with Thunder, Ugly Kid Joe, and Television, an amazing day out. And nothing like that has happened in Sheffield since 25 years ago. So, being a local resident here, I thought, hmm, why not? It's about time this area had another one. So how how was I going to do it? What were we going to do? Don Valley Stadium doesn't exist anymore, and if it did, I couldn't afford it. But the Don Valley Bomb is right next door, so it's a little bit of a heritage thing. Um, now the lineup. We're hoping or trying to get this to become a showcase for the new genre the new um generation of rock bands all the up and coming bands um that we're hoping this sort of thing will be their stepping stone from you know being an up and coming band to really getting noticed by the big boys being something very successful and also we want to showcase in addition to that local sheffield bands who just want to be noticed, as simple as that. Um, yeah, there's lots of these sort of events about. Okay, everybody knows there's 101 little festivals running around doing all these, and they're great. I know it's a brilliant thing, but like many people have said, it's a bit of a saturated calendar. There's a lot. There isn't any like that in this area in my area um, and there isn't for a good 50 or 60 miles radius 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 um, <laughs> so the place is okay there's a good um, clientele there's a good need for it here and there's nothing like it about okay moving on Another thing that bothers people with that amount of uh, events on the calendar is price. It's pricey, you know, especially if you want to go to the mall, we're looking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Uh, not to mention the big ones like um, Download and uh, the up and coming Metallica concert, which I've heard a few people said is just a tad overpriced. Um, this one we want to really keep it cheap and when I mean cheap when I say cheap I mean cheap um, we can afford to do it I've worked out the ins and outs and it's doable so standard ticket is 20 quid all right and the bands that we're going to be getting hold of 
it's well worth it for 20 quid well worth it for sure again you're not going to have camping costs we're also going to be trying displaying um, the various modes of transport and the cheapest ways of getting to Sheffield um, we got good bus links mega bus links just up the road the trains just up the road we got park and ride facilities so you don't pay a tenner for your um, car parking and you know there's going to be buses and trains and things like that to most of the big cities from here leaving after the gig so for those of you who just want to make it a very long day and it probably will be a long day you could do it all in one day you don't even have to have accommodation or stay over but if you want to make a party of it in a weekend we're going to be promoting the local rock pub pubs that we got here as well okay so don't worry about the price we got it covered it's a good one okay um nearly finished now not too much more of me boring you um say a little bit about the bands so far all right then we've got our old friends who we've uh, been in touch with for quite a while and we've done a few things with them sour tusk now they're after forced to be reckoned with to be fair sour tusk um yeah a lot of people oh, you, you you think you're ready for them and you're just not <laughs> they're, they're a good bunch of lads and we'd love to do something from them Sheffield boys um, wish them well hopefully they're going to get what they what they came for and they've got a new album in the in the pipeline I know they've been doing some recording so they'll be there next band short tram lines here in Sheffield saw them again at the rock and blues caned brilliant uh, this is not in any particular order by the way so Kind of superb, brilliant band. Um, if you've seen them before, you'll already know that. If you haven't, check them out. They they deserve to be bigger than they are for sure. Uh, next one's a band that I love. Brilliant. They're just off the radar all the time. Not quite. You don't quite get them, but they're fantastic. They they really sort of almost slaughtered HRH when they did that. They were the best band on the day when I went to see them. Nah, not everybody's uh, thought the same, but trust me, they are great. The Outlaw Orchestra, um, really great fun, absolute party atmosphere when you see them. Saw them at uh, Rock and Blues again, where they headlined that second stage, and they got a massively good reception. Better reception than some of the ones on the main stage, to be fair. Excellent band. Um, next one's... Uh, Aaron Buchanan and the Cult Classic uh, Classics, more than one of them. Um, stage presence and energy coming off that guy is astounding. A really, really good one to watch for the future for sure. I think uh, any new uh, new wave of bands that are going to be cracking it next year, he's going to be amongst them. Um, X Heaven's Basement stuff going on there as well, so they got a little bit of heritage. Really good. Okay. Moving on, another great bunch of lads that we saw supporting Te Tequila Mockingbird. Um, maybe a, a lot of you guys have not heard the name before, and I hadn't. Renegade 12. Um, how to describe them? Well, I don't know, there's Iron Maiden in there, there's Pantera in there, there's Alter Bridge in there. But they're more than just a sort of tributey covers type band it's they're much more than that um another band that should be way bigger than they are and i kind of think they will be um their album which we grabbed hold of is just brilliant from stop to finish i can't think of a bad song on it superb so that's what we got so far but we still got some big hitters in the pipeline um and you just have to wait for that okay thanks all the information you need will be available to you this uh, website which uh, we've just or my good wife has just completed after hours of work on it have a look at it it should be good you'll find it quite easily there aren't many rocking the balls out there at the moment just this one so thanks ever so much any questions at all just put them in the comments anything you want to know um i'm going to sign off now
because I had a long day and I'm not feeling too professional at the moment so this is a bit of a ramble rather than a thing so thank you so much cheers see you again bye bye